Alright, welcome back. Last time we killed the other boss. This time we are going to basically finish the DLC. Even if I don't find everything, I'm probably done. Until... Oh shit, that's fucking loud. Actually woke my cat up. <laughs> I had to turn that down. She's leaving the room right now. She's like, why the fuck was that so loud? I'm, I'm gone. I'm watching her. Actually, she's trying to sleep somewhere else. She's probably going to find... You know, some I don't want her to sleep on. And then she's gonna go to bed on that, because that's that's what cats do. I don't know if you own one. But they like to do that. Like, hey, don't touch that. We'll touch it. Like, hey, can you not sleep there because your hair gets all over my jacket? And then they sleep there. Uh so I'm trying to remember how the frickin' frack to get around here. We're gonna use the spear for a little bit until something kills me and then I decide to switch back to something I know. What? Oh, my, thank you. I can hear the crackling from here. The sound of my home. The painting of Arindel. Burning away. When the world rots, we set it afire. For the sake of the next world. It's the one thing we do right, unlike those fools on the outside. <laughs> when the world rot, it's... <laughs> Weird, I wonder what implications that has, kind of like... I don't know. We made these plus nine, by the way. Uh, kind of... I guess that's what happened to Ariamis. They probably burned it, and then... The uh, the painter chick here, she probably paints a new world. And then that's kind of what they do afterwards. I'm not sure. How did I miss that item? I don't know, but I'm happy I got another slab. You get two slabs in this expansion. And I was asked by a uh, long-time awesome viewer, Dundolo, for my opinions on the DLC and if I thought it was worth. And at first I said no. And I'm still saying no. <laughs> but two slabs isn't isn't too bad. Yeah, we're gonna try and just pick up some items, hopefully make this a shorter video. Get out of here in maybe like a half hour kind of thing, even if we don't get everything. And then we will be waiting for the next DLC. Which should be soon, which is good because I want something else to frickin' play. And I think I didn't get to finish this thought last time. I think I thought. It's over there. Yeah. Whoa! I forgot about you. Screw you. Did he? Ah! Ew! Oh, is he down here? No wonder I didn't find this. Whoa! I don't need you to freaking vomit on me, man. It's kind of nasty. It's kind of nasty. You don't see... Like, I'm hitting you with some swords and spears and shit, you know? At least I'm being civilized. You're over here just throwing up on me. <laughs> it's like, have at you, sir. <laughs> Projectile vomit. Oh, man. Uh, I think... Okay, I think I missed an item in the big church, which means we're going to have to go there. I'm going to put the dual wield away for a sec. We'll just kind of sprint. Yeah, after this will be... Oh. Just waiting for DLC at this point. Can I kill him with an R... Pfft. Say, can I kill him with an R2? Can I get an R2? R2-D2. Don't hit me. Oh, I can't. The R1-R2 combo kills. I get annoyed when I look at people talk about this game online. They're like, all you do is just spam R1. Or R1 spam. And... I get that in, you know, PvP or something, but in, in fucking, what you call it, in a, whoa, when you're playing just regular PvE, you know, it's kind of like, what else are you supposed to do? R2s aren't usually stamina efficient, and you pick them, and they're not usually damage to stamina ratio efficient, and so you just kind of pick them. If you get like an extra half second and you want to do a little more damage, that's when you do them. I probably shouldn't be stabbing these. This 
guy's probably gonna kill me. Doesn't he spawn a bro? I forget. I don't think he does. Okay. Ooh, you like that? Fuck. This lock on fails. I really don't remember his move size, so he's probably gonna kill me here. I'm gonna have to sprint past him. Or something. But we don't really care. Oh, there's his bro. No, that's not his bro. And it might be his bro. And shield stab you. See, I want to make a, a character at some point where I just rock havels and a spear. <laughs> and just shield poke everything. Gotta find a really strength heavy spear at that point. Yeah, what I'm saying about the R1s and stuff, I see an item in there that I missed. Is, they're just, they're really, it's really a solid move a lot of the time. And in a lot of situations where you can get damage, you usually don't even have the time to hit an R2. Oh, I missed. He missed too, though. Oh, man. What? That was garbage. He puts you in so much block stun. Not gonna give me that twice, dude. He tried to go for third, so. Ah. Damn, I got hit by all those, too. Maybe I didn't. Shit, one just did that much damage. I could probably just poke him down. Just not. Oh my god, I'm always out of range. My positioning is so bad. Just shield poke him. Get her stamina back. Where are you trying to go, dude? Oh, did he? Weird. I wonder how he got hit there. Oh, what the fuck? It really does do a bunch of damage. Oh, my God. Oh, I got baited, too. I was like, there's no way he... Does he do, too? I couldn't remember. Oh, God. Oh, that sucked. But, yeah, the <laughs> R1s... Are usually just really good attacks. So I don't know. I don't. I don't quite understand the hate there. They're usually like really good attacks, and then in a lot of cases, bosses don't give you enough time to hit R2s. You know, and rolling attacks. I don't know. You can use those sometimes and backstep attacks. And I understand. I understand the logical argument part of it, where you're trying to say that you know people only know how to use one attack on their weapons when you have like 14. I get that. But my point is, a lot of the situations you find yourself in don't call for anything more than some simple R1s. I might just run past this guy. All he tries to feast on his, his bros as he fucking throws. He's throwing L knives! Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> climb up the ladder. Climb, climb, climb. Climb, climb, climb. Goodbye. There's an item in here, right? Did I get it? I wish I could see better. Was it up there? Was it behind there? Did I? Damn. I really don't remember. And then I remember the one item we didn't get is there's a jump. Well, I could have just fucking... Did some sneaky stuff and got past him, huh? Yeah, there's an item that I tried to jump to and I missed. So I remember that. I got whatever that is. I can't see well enough. I wish they didn't do this. I understand what they're trying to do, where it's like... You can't see everything, so you can't assess the situation. And it's like, if you really want to... Oh. 
It's like, if you really want to make the jump, then you're just going to have to do it. I think that's what they were trying to tell you. I'm probably going to die here. And part of me is like, just homeward out here. But I think people like watching me die, so I'm going to just take a death. I mean, I'm going to try, obviously. I don't... <laughs> when the spear hits two people at once... That is... Fuck. I had to go for something there. I'm dead. There's just... There's no way. But anyway, um... I have to jump to that one item. So I'll do that, but the reason I'm happy the DLC is coming is because I really don't... Like I said, this is what I was trying to touch on before in the last video. Because it takes me forever to make a point, just like right now. But I really just don't want to play anything. I don't know what it is. There's nothing in the gaming world that interests me right now. And it sucks because a lot of the games... Like, the big reason I play games is to... You know, kind of decompress and distract myself and whatever, just because I, I haven't been clinically diagnosed, so I can't be certain, but I feel like I have anxiety in a lot of situations, and playing games and stuff like that really helps. Oh my god, my own shadow fucking scared me. <laughs> um, playing games and stuff really helps me deal with that. Because, you know, when stuff stresses me out, I can just play a game for a bit. Even if I get stressed out at the game, I'm, uh... Not getting stressed out of real life, which is good. And when I don't really have... What is it? Uh... The chance to do that. It sucks, especially when there's nothing I really want to play. Oh, I... Did not know you were there. That's okay. Everything is fine. I'm surprised I didn't get this before. It looks really obvious. Okay. You look like you want to just throw up on me. That actually does some good damage. It's almost 400 with the dual wield. It's pretty good. Seems pretty good. Oh. <laughs> oh, what? You're still here? What was that? Is he not allowed to fall off? He, like, glitched through the floor and then reappeared here with full HP. I guess I'm supposed to make this jump. Which we all know how good I am at jumps. Wait, I've been here, haven't I? And yet, I didn't grab this. Which didn't really matter. Whoa! Whew. Rolling L1 attacks are actually pretty solid. Like, roll double stab, you know? Okay. Yeah, I know that, but I just, I failed last time. Oh, we made it! Oh! Crow quills? Oh, that's what they're fucking throwing at me and stuff. Okay. Alright, maybe this is a dex weapon to get excited about. You get the thrusting swords and the throwing knives. That's, okay, I'm liking it. Thrusting sword wielded by Corvian Knights and a special paired weapon when twin-handed. Okay, that is, yeah, that's probably the appropriate term. Brandish four thin edge blades in the left hand. In their infatuation with Sister Freed, the Corvian Knights swore to protect the painting from fire, which co or coincides, which lines up with what that other guy was saying, how they burn the fire, or burn the fire, burn the painting, when everything gets too crazy. So I guess... The lore for this place is that Freed is trying to prevent them from just resetting the world for whatever reason. There's probably a reason somewhere in there that I just didn't read or didn't pay enough attention to. And to this end, took to the execution of their own brethren, so the crow people are killing each other, simultaneously throw temporarily substantial illusions of the four thin edge blades wielded in the left hand simultaneously throw temporarily substantial illusions so at the same time throw temporary but 
pretty real or convincing illusions. Alright, we got the stats. It's a thrust sword. I was looking for one of these. I really wanted to play a rapier. And there's a few reasons for that, but... Yeah, okay. Oh, and you got the... What? Oh, and you can, like, claw attack. Okay. Get a little combo thing going on. You know, let's... Just homeward real quick. And I think that's all we really need here. Because I think we can get into that Coliseum or something like that, but I just, I don't care enough, honestly. So, plus I want to keep this a little shorter for once. And, yeah, like I was saying, just games don't really interest me right now. I wanted to play Dungeons and Dragons a lot. That's actually the game I want to play. But setting that up is really difficult. And I have two different groups of friends that actually play it. And one kind of fell through and they haven't been talking about it, so I don't know. And it's weird, like, they still play sometimes, but then... It's... I don't know, I guess they really... I guess they got tired of me telling them that I had school when they would ask me to play. And so they stopped asking me, and I think they play with other people and stuff, or... I don't know. I think there's one person in the group that doesn't like me. Because someone asked me before uh, if I was going to go play one time. And they're like, well, this guy's going to be there. So I went, what? Like, that's, that's still a big deal. <laughs> like, I don't care. So I don't know about that. But uh, my other great friend of mine for many years, uh, my friend Sean, who I don't talk about a lot, uh, his friends play D&D. &D. And so I should have just went to the strong... Shrawn? The Shrine Bonfire, huh? Actually, I think there's one more item we could have got, and we don't need to use this. Let's... Just slap things with giant swords. Just one shot. Oh, that actually doesn't do a lot. Where's my double spear? It's weird, because that... Did 414 for an R1. This is 398. This can actually put out some damage in a hurry. That's what I do like about dual wield weapons. If you can pick the spot and get the combo rolling, they put out a lot, a lot of damage. But yeah. I mean, it, I'm not being fair either because I'm. This is the equivalent of two-handing. With these. So this will be... Oh, it's still the same move. That's right. So these... I don't know. Pretty comparable damage, so they actually... I feel like, in relation to each other, they balance things pretty well. In some cases. But yeah. So, I don't know, I just... I don't want to play a lot of stuff right now. And so as a substitute, I was playing Neverwinter Nights 2, which I love that game. And that's the game I was talking about before where I recorded one video of it just to... Just for fun, because I wanted to start doing a thing where I kind of... Things I don't want to make a series out of. I still want to play, like, every now and then or something and just make a video just so I don't feel like I'm wasting my time when I play games. And there's one more item in here, but I don't know how to get it. I think we got all the good stuff. Oh, no. You just wait, man. I'm going to go upgrade your weapon. And wow, that was really far. That was a lot of damage. And you see the knockdown again being a big deal because he got the knockdown and then took all initiative. Like another knockdown and he walks up on you. Da, da. Stop, stop. And he hyper armors. Because everything needs hyper armor. I wish they didn't do that, man. Why do they bait you with the no poise? Like, this boss or this enemy doesn't have poise. And then you get hit with the fucking hyper armor. And it's like, you can you can get some hits in, but don't go for too many hits. Because it's not like the game already has personal repercussions built in for draining all your stamina and something. Because you can't, with your weapons, you actually can't combo them to death because they have like 4,000 HP, which is fine. 
And you know, if you end up burning all your stamina, you can't defend yourself. But you know what, let's just, let's give him hyper armor anyway. Let's make it a guessing game. Whoa! Alright, sarcasm aside. Um... Yeah, like, I don't want to play anything right now, and nothing looks good. Just nothing. For Honor looked really fun for about six minutes. I watched alpha footage, beta footage, and then live footage. And parts of it look fun, but I haven't been able to get any of my friends to actually want to play it, so I don't see myself actually playing it, you know, and buying it. I don't want to spend the money, even though it does look really fun. And we need to play these a little more. It's got kind of my thing right now, right? We got claws on the one hand, and then thrusting sword on the other. And it can throw them. You can probably aim this, huh? Yeah, you can. Takes a little bit of FP. So th these, so these might actually be good. Probably not. It really comes down to the move set. A lot of the times, it's. I feel like that's what makes a good weapon balance. It's just how good is your move set? Obviously, your damage matters, and your damage types matter probably the most. But you know, you could have a ton of damage, but have a really weak move set, and then you can't really get that damage off, if that makes sense, so... Uh, I just want to see what this takes to upgrade. Probably Titanite. Woo! Alright. Uh, let's... I need sharp gems and shit, too. I could farm some. I don't know, how well does this scale if I put... So heavy doesn't do much for us, because we're not a strength character. So refined, we lose 10 damage and get 1, so it's a swing of minus 9. So these are pretty shit. For refined, if I do sharp, I lose 5 and get 19, so it's a swing of 14. Which is usually... Four, like, plus 14 and plus 15 or so with the scaling is usually what sharp has been giving us. You know, I've checked with other weapons when I've been considering what I want to level and stuff like that, and all the sharp weapons tend to give you about the same. It's around like 14, 15 scaling, which is... Like, watch, I'll put these on. And the 14, 15 scaling, it's pretty good because it means it's consistent. Let's look. Sharp, it's the same thing, minus 10. Plus 25, that's, uh, that's 15. That's a net 15 game, which gets better, obviously, with points, you know, like, level ups and uh, a couple more upgrades or whatever, so there is that, but... I don't know, let's farm a couple sharp gems real quick. And then we'll be done. I'll try and keep this a little shorter, but, uh... Yeah, after this, I'm going to do homework and record a... A channel update, and I'll probably put the channel update first today, because that'll be quicker. Yeah, and so, what I've been playing... Like, I was playing Neverwinter Nights 2, and I was having fun with that game with my... I made a ninja, but there's no official ninja class, so I made, like, uh... I feel like there are two ways to do ninja. One would be, like, if you... What is it? If you, uh... Went like rogue or something, made a rogue class because you get sneak attacks, and then you did it with the sneak attacks. I need to put some some MF gear on if I can find my covetous gold. Is that the only one I have? I can't remember. I think it is, which kind of sucks. Where's item discovery? 161. I don't remember where the frickin' the rolly trap went. Does it come back up? There it is. Yeah, so I'm doing... I'm doing more of a, like, a Naruto kind of monk where... Focus a little more on hand-to-hand. -hand. I don't remember how to fight these at all, but we'll fucking clobber them. Yeah, I think this is the best place, or one of the best places for... Oh, we get hyper armor. That's pretty nice. 
Gotta use those more often. I'm pretty sure I was just killing these and running back, so. Yeah, so I'm trying to do like a Naruto kind of monk or ninja where I play monk first to get some, some taijutsu kind of deal, some hand to hand combat. And you don't even need to. You don't even have to multi class monk in that game because in a lot of the PC D&D games, monks are just fucking powerful. I don't. I never played one in pen and paper, so I don't know how good they are there, but. For the most part, they are they scale pretty well, they get a lot of crazy ass abilities, and if you give them the right stats, they basically dodge tank and stuff. Oops. Damn, we do not take damage anymore. Oh, I didn't- I was really- I knew I was going to be out of stamina. I knew that part. I banked on that. But I was like, I'll be out of stamina, I'll take an extra step to make sure I get, um... I'm loving the hyper armor. Might have to start using this thing more. But yeah, when I didn't have stamina, I was like, I'll just, I'll still be able to walk up... ...and get the, the counter attack. That was kind of my plan. You know, I'll wait an extra half second because they're open for a long time, and it's still... <laughs> I was so stamina deprived, it still didn't matter. Yeah, and so after I do, like, nine levels of Monk, I think, on that character, I'm gonna do... I'm gonna start doing Sorcerer. I might have told the story already. Or I might have told it when I was trying to record that Neverwinter video, and I just stopped. Because I recorded about 50 minutes, and it looked like shit because I was playing on PC, and my PC is just not... not good, honestly. It... It was good back in the day. Wow, did he really... Did he really whiff an attack over here and then back roll into me? To try and do it? That's crazy. That's so... That's so clever on his part. Yeah, and so I'm kind of doing the Sorcerer for the spontaneous feel of, like, Chakra. You know, because of spells for day and shit like that. And other than that, nothing... Like, nothing that's coming out looks really good. Like I said, For Honor kind of... Uh... It, it looks like a fighting game more than anything else and I don't what bothers me about that game is that it's peer-to-peer -peer. and that's not a problem most of the time in games but I don't think I just I don't think you can call yourself a competitive video game and then have peer-to-peer -peer hosting I just I don't see the logic in that I did get him nice you just got outranged, sir, and then I got outranged somehow, like, barely. And peer-to-peer -peer hosting is kind of like where... I thought it was where one person kind of plays like the server. So everyone's connecting through one person, which gives inherent host advantage. But then someone else said it's kind of like everyone's the server. And how it works, I don't know how it officially works, but I know that it's not a dedicated server. And usually dedicated servers are better. So I don't know how you can call yourself a competitive game and do that. Because, like, every... Most good competitive games have dedicated servers. You know, or games that try and be competitive have fucking dedicated servers. Because they understand... It's better if you pay for... It's better for competitive nature if you pay for some decent... Servers. So connection isn't a problem. People just don't understand that. And then the other thing is just their balancing doesn't seem to be top-notch. I was going to say much for some reason. Because I guess Peacekeeper right now is really powerful in that game. And it looks like Peacekeeper is getting some buffs. They're fixing some bugs. And like, she's getting some lower damage, but then I guess... I don't know, it just looks like she's getting buffed in that patch, from what I was reading. So I just, I don't understand it. That and the competitive community isn't that good for that game. Just because it's a small game, or smaller game, but then also, you know, when people are trying to play... That's actually really good. If you can get a hard stagger like that, this is really, really good. Yeah, like, I was watching... I watched a couple tournaments for the game, and I thought the 2v2 tournament was really fun to watch. Because you had people... 
Like, you had teams that were trying to do the, the fucking Dark Souls honor dueling shit where one person kills the other person and the other person waits. And I fucking hate that. You know, I'm not saying that people can't enjoy that, but I don't think that's how you properly play competitive games. You know? And it's more interesting to watch the 2v2 thing, where you watch people try and fucking combo each other and play as a team. You know, we're gonna bring these guys back here, because I'm feeling a little pressured. That guy got fucking bopped. Where are my sharp gems? Uh, does it give you an idea of how rare these are? I, uh... What is it? I was trying to farm these one time. During the, the original Let's Play, and I got, um... It took me maybe... It took me a couple hours, and I got maybe three or four. And I still have two left, but... I don't know, I just... I kind of want to do this right now, because I have nothing else to do. I just got fucking... I'm getting wombo. Let me get my hyper armor! Give me my hyper armor! Okay. Yes! I'm so good at the game when I hyper armor through shit. And we're still getting shards and stuff, which are really helpful, because we use so many to upgrade. But yeah, so, uh... I don't know, and that... It just doesn't look like the game has longevity. And people are trying to be competitive with it, and that's fine. I'm not saying they shouldn't, but... You have to understand what you're in for. You have a game that's... Like, it's not the flashiest, and people who don't know what's happening don't enjoy watching it, because people will bitch about, you know, certain classes like Warlord and Conqueror, like, oh, they just fucking turtle and sit there and block, and that's all they do, and it's like, they don't understand that's how the character's designed. You know, the whole point of that character is to wait out your opponent. You just missed everything. So, yeah, so people just don't like watching it kind of thing. Hopefully this doesn't. It does. Those extra levels that give you defense and stuff really do help out. Because I'm not wearing heavy armor and I'm taking way less damage from this shit than I've ever taken before. I do remember watching a Sharp Gem farming video where the guy actually went down there and he killed all the, the skeletons and then came back, but I don't know. I feel like this is a little more efficient. Because if I'm actually concentrating and not playing like shit, I can kill these pretty quick. And then go back. Yeah, so... A lot of games just don't look fun, and don't look good. And nothing that's coming out doesn't look good either. I was a little sad about that, because I went, okay... People were talking about Mass Effect, Andromeda. I was like, I, I enjoyed the other games, I didn't think they were... I thought Mass Effect 2 was probably the best one. And I didn't play a lot of one. When I mean, when I say I didn't play a lot of one, I mean I watched some play of one. <laughs> so actually, I never played it, and it didn't it didn't look as refined. But uh, I was watching gameplay of Andromeda, and I was like, this doesn't look that good either. And I was looking at what else is coming out. There's really nothing besides Zelda, but I don't have uh, money to buy a Switch. So I'm not going to be able to... Oh! <laughs> I'm not going to be able to play that anytime soon. And I don't, I don't know how I'm going to... I'm going to talk about this in the... What is it in the channel update, I guess? And we're going to wrap up in a couple minutes. It's just... It's really hard to kind of stop the video once you kind of get rolling. I'm going to have to. So I'll probably do a couple more and then we'll get out of here. And what I have been playing is uh, Elder Scrolls Online. I've been playing on my Xbox, and it's it's fun. And I like what they did with the game. You know, because people are saying, like, in every update it's gotten better. And I played vanilla ESO for a while. And I, I thought it was alright. But what ended up turning me off from that game is I got through level 50... 
I got the first couple veteran ranks, and literally how you leveled after you did the main story and all that was you just... You went to other zone, like other factions, like other... Like if you compare it to WoW, if you're playing like on the Alliance, you go to the Horde side, and then you just play through all their quests. Except instead of level 10, you'd be veteran rank. Which is kind of like prestige and all that, I don't know how to really compare it, but... And that was stupid. You know, it was like, we have no... We have this weird endgame system set up to where you still level, but we have nothing planned except play other faction quests. And on the one hand, that's good because you can see... What is it? The other faction and their stuff. And really, that's not a counter. You know, and you get to see the world, and that's kind of what Elder Scrolls games are about, is exploring and all that, but it just... It wasn't fun to do. And each veteran rank took way longer. It, like, it almost felt like it doubled the XP from the previous one, so, like, if it took 100,000 before, it would take 200,000 for the next one. You're just like, this is fucking garbage. Or you would PvP, but PvP is really... not fun. It just... I, I don't know, that game had a lot of problems. And the game's been out for three years, and they just now announced a fourth class. And the reason they could get away with that is because... All of the build options and stuff... were really in-depth. So, it didn't really... It didn't feel like you were kind of limited on those options, but... I mean, new classes are fun, and it took so long for them to come out with a new one. And I'm hoping they release some talent stuff on the class coming up, because it's called the Warden. And it kind of looks like a druid, because they have, I think, nature, ice, and then, like, some other ability set. I can't remember what it is. And I kind of want to play that. But there are other classes I want to play. Like, I want to play an archer of some kind. And that's where their system comes in handy, because... I can pick any class, and I can make an archer on it. Some are going to be better at it, because they have better abilities, but... You know, I can do that kind of stuff. And I think Sorcerer, from what I've seen, is one of the most uh, versatile classes. Because you can just make the regular mage setup and just blast shit. You can make a summoner, just hit shit. I've seen Sorcerer tanks. I don't know how good they are at endgame, but at my level I've seen Sorcerer tanks. And you can do it with some, some shit. Like, you can get a, a Frost Staff, and there's a talent with Frost Staff to where... You take less damage when blocking, so it kind of acts like a shield. You know, so they have a lot of interesting stuff there. But the class I want to play right now, besides an archer, is I want to make a kind of a rogue sorcerer. You know, like medium armor, weapon damage, a bunch of AoE, dual wielding, stuff like that. That looked really fun. Oh, I keep turning into my fan and it's picking up on the mic. It sucks. Yeah, even playing ESO, I've been playing for a couple days. Again, and it's just... It's fun, but it's not, like, that fun. You know, it just it's enjoyable to do when I have nothing to do. Uh, I drop Warframe entirely. That game just irritated me too much. And like I said before, I saw everything I wanted to see in that game. You know, I got to... I got a couple of the Warframes I really wanted. I was able to keep farming, and I was fucking... What is it? I was able to... Really? Damn, that bleeds, actually. Wasn't paying attention. That could actually be dangerous. Yeah, and then I was able to make trades and get some real money currency from people. Which, that felt good. That's kind of like... What I think would keep you playing that game, is if you just enjoyed farming and... getting the equivalent of other people's money. So I thought that was cool. But other than that, there's really nothing else I want to play right now, and I just don't know what it is. And my Xbox group that I normally play games with is kind of down to four of us now. And all my other friends want to play... Well, two of the four of us always want to play Smite. And I'm kind of over Smite. And then on top of that... Fucking parry. 
likes to just not do anything now, so Perry will sit there. Ooh, that's probably more rare than the fucking sharp stone, but we got it. But now Perry likes to, uh... I still love Perry to death, but... But what he likes to do now is just set his profile to offline and then just watch TV and shit. Like on his Xbox to watch Netflix and whatever. And I'm not... I'm not saying he shouldn't enjoy himself and do that, but it just... It kind of sucks because my options are play Smite or play nothing with my friends. And that's it. And then, like, all the single player games I'm playing, I don't really want to play. I'm just trying to hit you guys, alright? Let me hyper armor. And act like I'm good at the game. You know, the game, the game's easy, just get good. Just get good. And I do... I do like Dark Souls. I really do. I, The more I play this game, the more I enjoy it, but... What I would have to do is just make, like, PvP builds and stuff, and I'm not good at PvP, so I would just kind of meme around and have fun on that, but... Like, what ended up pissing me off from PvP last time I played is I was playing that one sorcerer where, you know, I had no vitality or, you know, no HP and a bunch of spells and shit, and I just kept playing people that were around my soul level, which was, like, 40 at the time, and they just all had heavy armor and giant weapons, and they would just sit there and block my poor little sorcerer who couldn't hit them with anything, and they would just sit there and block and then eventually, like, two-shot me. And I'm not saying that they shouldn't do that, and I'm not saying they shouldn't play the, uh, play the game the way they want to, but, you know, it just... And it just wasn't fun, and it felt like the community was a little dried up at times. Because you'd run into the same people, or some shit would happen, so I don't know. I'm gonna wrap up after this one, because I need to stop. Like I said, I, I want to keep talking, I want to keep playing, because I'm just enjoying chatting with you guys, because it's, it's always social, you know? And that's fun, but... Um... Yeah. So we gotta stop in a minute. And other than that, I've been... Really? It's like the same thing on both? We'll do one more. And what I've been doing, or been trying to do, is read more, like, manga and stuff like that. I was reading JoJo's... I finished Part 5, and a lot of people hate Part 5. And a lot of people say the reason is because the scans are really bad. And the scan that I had was pretty fucking shitty. But it was still, you know, pretty enjoyable because I was able to kind of work around what the fuck they were saying. Like, what the translation was that was so horrible, and kind of, like, piece together my own story. Or, like, better words and stuff like that, and I like that. Uh, part 5... I'm not gonna spoil it for anyone that actually cares, but part 5, I didn't like the ending because... It was just garbage. And I think it was lazily written. It's literally just... It's, like, the equivalent of DBZ where Goku would go... Like, if Goku went Super Saiyan against Frieza the first time, and instead of them fighting afterwards, he just punched him once and Frieza died. That is exactly how Part 5 ends. More or less, like, conceptually. And it's fucking lazy. And I don't know what it is in the JoJo's manga, but Araki, the author, does not do good on his endings. Like, he'll... At least for the parts that I've seen and read. I haven't read the first three, but, like, I read four, five, and six now. And part four feels like it's a quick ending. I can't remember exactly. But uh, part five is literally just the thing ends, then they do, like, one background chapter or, like, arc real quick, and then it ends. Like, it's, like, the ending is literally three pages or something. It's so fucking short. And then in part six, the same thing happens. Like, I hated part six. I, like, the story is kind of whatever. I hated, I thought the last fight was really cool, and then they just fucked it up in terms of execution. And it felt so rushed, and people online, a couple people said it was rushed, so maybe that's just the evidence of it, but... Like, at the end of part six, they just rushed through so many things really quickly. Like, things that should be taking multiple pages and panels to to uh, to animate and to show, it, it 
just, it's not there. Like, when I was reading through it, I went, where the fuck, it feels like there are three pages missing in between here and there. And I didn't like it, and the, uh, the big plot device for the part six end, I didn't, I'm indifferent, I didn't really care about it. I thought it was, I thought some of it made sense, I thought some of it didn't make sense, I thought some of it was kind of stupid. And I thought there's some logical holes in there, but I'm not a JoJo channel, so I can't <laughs> really go too hard into those. And I'm going to start reading Part 7, because I guess people like Part 7. So I'm hoping Part seven's good. But other than that, yeah. I've actually been pretty bored. So maybe I'll start recording more videos. Because that, that should help me out. Uh, but anyway, thanks for watching. Next time, we're probably going to start... If we're going to do more Dark Souls, next time is going to be us starting the new DLC, or I might play another character. Because I like this character the most, but I don't see anything worth doing right now. Like, I want to use a new weapon and stuff, but I don't like any of the weapons I have. And the more I'm not using this, the more I just don't care about it. I don't... Like, it's really cool, and I don't think the moveset's amazing, but I don't know, I'll play with it. And after this, I'm going to record... my channel update, so... Yeah. Thanks for watching. Look forward to stuff. And I'll see you guys later.